This is the video on the Precore P31 console, just on how to get into the back end or maintenance mode, check errors, whatnot. The error message, to go straight into error messages, if you press and hold the pause button, just keep holding it, it'll come up with the error messages, and then within here you can, uh, you hit OK to go into it, and then it'll tell you what happened, so error 38 at 800 uh, odd kilometers, and the time frame as well, so it gives you an exact time of when it happened. Uh, then you press down, this is the next error. Error 38, same again. This error is relating to a power issue, so it might just be with this treadmill, uh, the external power in the building or whatnot, might be an issue. And then error 38 as well. Um, some of these errors can be actually reset or cleaned up by turning off the, the machine and turning it back on again. So you can all also try that, just turn the thing off at the wall, leave it off for like two minutes just to make sure it fully powers down and then uh, turn it back on again and then see if an error comes up. So we just hit the back button and that will go back into the error log. It actually takes you back into where the normal maintenance mode is so it's a way you can get into it um, but basically just hitting back again and you get right out of it. Um, where normally if you go into the back end or maintenance mode you would hit the pause button and then hit 65 uh, before any, any lights come back up on again and then you'll get into the diagnostic mode here and then you can scroll through for the Ks of how long the machine's been used for, uh, hours, how many hours the machine's been used for and then it scrolls through uh, all these different settings. This is for the, the uh, mileage reset so if you wanted to reset the, the miles on this for a service what you would, actually if I go back here it'll say the the treadmill maintenance warning. So that means the light on the front of the machines, if you've got that uh, blue light that's on the very front of the machines there, that blue light will be flashing. Uh, it should be steady blue, there's nothing wrong. But then if it's flashing blue, it means this maintenance mode has, has lapsed. It's gone the thousand miles. So what it is, we hit OK to get into it, and this has got 269 miles left of 1,000 miles before that blue light will start flashing. So in this case, to clear it, so if you have actually done a service on it, which pretty much just means taking off this front hood cover and vacuuming under there, uh, blowing out the uh, dust that's in there as well, and then you want to check the drive belt and just check all the wiring connections are all good and nothing's wrong. Uh, check your running mat. You can uh, put a towel underneath the running mat and, and run the trim at low speeds while standing on the edge of the machine holding the towel with your feet um, and that will actually clean out a lot of the dust and sand uh, that might be underneath in between the mat and the deck. But say if you've done all that in a basic maintenance service you can come up here into this setting and if you press and hold this quick start button and just keep holding it until these words scroll off to the left and when they finish scrolling off the left then you basically reset it then you can let go and this is reset to a thousand miles so now it will start counting down down to zero uh, and then the light will just flash blue that active status light at the front there of the machines on all treadmills and efx's they will um they will start flashing when it uh, gets down past this uh, thousand miles uh, uh the treadmills go off a thousand miles the efx's go off uh 250 hours it's hours based on the efx's rather than kilometers based on the treadmill so that's just a note there so you hit back and that's the treadmill maintenance so we keep going down there's different software uh, settings in here as well which a lot of those we don't really touch or go into unless there's a major issue with the machine usage log this will tell you how many times people have used things so manual usage 2800 times people have just pressed quick start and and that's it um, whereas if you scroll down <laughs> interval Used 65 times, people have used this interval button. Uh, interval 2, there's different settings on those intervals. Interval 3, and the customs as well. So these are all the different settings. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you how many times people have used different settings or what they like. Error log, uh, this will get you back into that error log that we first saw. If you press and hold the pause button without doing the pause 6.5, It'll, come, it'll bring you straight to this screen here. So just press and hold, pause. It'll bring you straight here. And then you hit OK, and it goes into those same error, errors we found before, which is the error 38, um, which is an error that you don't really need to worry about. So if we hit back again, 
scroll through the model. You can tell it what model the machine is so that, so the console knows what, what, what base machine it's got on it. Uh, active status light, that's that light at the front of the treadmill that does flash. So it, it'll, if it's, if it's um, a flashing, it'll say here. So it'll say a blue flashing or it'll say yellow as well if there's a fault. But we know it's blue now, so we know that's fine. We don't need to reset. But what, but again, what you do here, you press and hold the start button and it would uh, reset that for you. Uh, and that takes you back to the start. So another way to get in is also in the back end, which gives you a couple of extra settings, is the technician maintenance mode setting, which that, with that, what we do is press the pause button and we do five, one, seven, six, five, seven, six, one. And this will get you into the full back end hardware uh, versions. And then you can hit um, okay. Uh, you can do display tests, which we can press here and you hit OK and all these buttons will light up and it will tell you if there's one that's not lighting up it'll tell you there's an issue with it but in this case we know everything's working we know all the numbers are working and that's fine so we hit back our keyboard test you can do all these different tests here so that's a good way of how to get into the back end of these uh, P31 consoles thank you